WTRK 91.5 FM, the backstage pass. I am Jesse McGuire. And live on the line, we have a best friend of the show, somebody that just released an insane mixtape, Yesterday's Future. We got live on the line. What's up, Miss McGuire? Not much, man. What's up with you? Man, chilling, enjoying the fruits of my labor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. So you just released um, earlier in the week, Yesterday's Future. Yes, ma'am. I see it everywhere. Can you explain the concept of that? Uh, Basically, I'm a big Paul McCartney fan, and I just kind of wanted to show um, contemporary music fans what it is I love about Paul McCartney. So I figured, you know, the best way to do that was to take his music and, you know, update it for 2011. And that's, that's yesterday's future. Does it have any, um, you know, production from, like, Justice League or any of those fine fellows? It does. It does have production from the League of, of the Justices. And uh, they did the majority of the production, and then my homie Seb Nan did a couple records, too. But it was kind of the, – the production as a whole was a group effort. Like, we all had a say in it, and, and it was it was very much like a group project. Now, Laz, um, you're obviously very close with Justice League. I know you're signed to them. How did that whole collaboration between you and Justice League come about? Um, you know, they're originally from Tampa, from the Tampa Bay area, and I was, you know, doing my battle MC thing, my local mixtape at open mic thing, and my name just spread around. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I had a pretty decent following in Tampa, and um, you know, they they saw something in me. They saw the ability to uh, transfer to a, a larger venue and, and write full full sound of music and sell records and be on the radio. So they they scooped me up and just, you know, developed me for like a year and a half. And uh, we started putting work out. Simple as that. Now, I've always been a big fan of you and all your mixtapes, from the one with Mick Boogie and Don, Don Cannon, et cetera. Um, but <laughs> do you have any status on like an album that you're working on? Yeah, you know, um, I'm always working. I'm always writing and recording music. So th- there's not really a, there's never a lull or like a period when when I'm not making things. So, I mean, I, gu- I guess, yeah, the same way I've been working on McCartney since 457 came out in 2010. I've been working on an album since 2010 as well. Like I'm, I'm always just knocking records out, making different piles of songs, different collections. So, um yeah, we're going to see what happens with this. Um, we're going to see what the future holds over the next couple months, and then we're going to drop the next project, which is going to be equally, if not greater, than this one. Now, I know at the um, at the top of the year, you know, you released your video with Scott High, and you've worked with a lot of, you know, other up-and-coming artists. Right now, who are you really feeling? Uh, right now? Hmm, what am I listening to right now? Uh... I like I like Royce the Five Nines versus on the Bad Meets Evil tape a lot. I think he's probably the best rapper a lot right now. I'm trying to think who else am I feeling right now? You know Tyler's really dope. I like I like Tyler as as a whole. Like I mean like the videos, the, the stage show, you know the the content. I really like what he's how he's just kind of smacked the game in his face. That's really dope. Um, you know those two right there. Those guys are really really crazy. Got it. <laughs> um, what about any more visuals coming? I know you dropped the Homeland video um, at the top of this month. Uh, you had the Miss America video. What about any more videos for any of the records off yesterday's future? Oh, yeah, we're definitely doing more videos. Um, we initially planned to do a video for every song, but, you know, there's only so much time. So uh, we're probably going to do, I think, maybe two or three more. And, uh you know, same thing with music. We're just going to try and raise the bar visually because every video I've been trying to get a, a, a better um, a better kind of eye into my world. And I think Homeland, I think Homeland was the first one I could say where I was really like, wow, this is me. You know what I'm saying? Completely on screen. So, you know, we're just warming up. How has everything changed from you? Because, you know, I remember you when you drove all the way from Tampa in the middle of the night <laughs> to check out my radio show. And now you're all busy in Atlanta. One day, you know, L.A. the next, New York the next, so we got to do phone interviews now. But how has everything changed? Because you really did make the transition from up-and-coming rapper to, you know, where you're at right now. 
Uh, you know, life life is completely different now. It, you know, business wise and and personal wise, it's it's a completely different thing. Um, I think the one thing I'm trying to do is just remain hungry as as long as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're not working a regular job, it's very easy to fall into into nothingness, into like limbo. So I'm just trying to stay very very active. You know, writing as much music as I can while I'm awake, and uh. You know, it's 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 dope, man. I love it. I love it, and it's it's giving me time to grow. And I can't wait for my next project to come out so I could scare rappers even more because it's gonna get real scary for every other rapper alive. Do we have any insight on what your next project's gonna be? Um, it's gonna be a lot different from the McCartney project. It's basically uh, I'm kind of going back to my roots a little bit. I'm getting a little more on a competitive level again. You know what I'm saying? And and I really wanna. I'm going to talk directly to my people, but I just really want to make it as difficult as possible <laughs> for other people who claim to be lyricists because I'm really trying to spit like it's it's my last time. You know what I'm saying? Do you have any, like, secret records in the arsenal with uh, any any artists that you just can't wait to release? Oh, I got some crazy ones. Dro- Ooh, I got I got one with uh, Emilio Rojas and Saha dropping. Um, and I got another one with Emilio and Ritz. We did a remix to Emilio's uh, Champion record. That's that's gonna be stupid, stupid, crazy. And uh, what else? What else? Uh, me and Rhapsody doing another record over a Ninth Wonder track. About to lay that down today. You know the, the usual Jamla. suspects. <laughs> yeah, shouts to Jamla. You know what I'm saying? It's a wonderful world. Um, you know, just 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 working, man. Working. Nothing, nothing super crazy, but stuff with people that you know I, I really respect as peers and and that are doing. Really great things in music, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Well, Lazi, we appreciate you calling up. Um, everybody, if you don't have it, go get Yesterday's Future featuring Sir Paul McCartney. It's free, so just put it in Google and click download, right, Laz? Get that. Free. Get it now. Right now. That's what's up. Well, Laz, thank you so much. Um, you thank know you. what? What's you're, up? you're the artist. I'm the radio personality. Tell me what record you want me to play right now off of yesterday's future. I would like you to play uh, Dear Boy. That's my favorite one. That's what's up. Well, WPRK, this is Dear Boy by Laws off yesterday's future. Peace.